So uh, we got Chad Greer, the new Providence State football coach. You still got your Oceanside hat on there, Coach. There's another one, that's for sure. What made you decide to come back home? Um, you know, I, I think I took the same advice I, I give the boys. Uh, if you have a big decision, you, you uh, seek wise counsel and you pray on it, and um, did both. Uh, agonized over it probably a little bit too much, but um, at the end, end of the day, the final uh, – piece of the decision process that tipped the scale was uh, I have a soon to be one year old son Hank and um, just uh, as a as a parent I feel like the best thing to do for Hank is uh, is bring him home where all of our family is uh, provide him an opportunity to go to a school like Providence Day mm -hmm. I mean clearly they got 41 national merit scholars I mean you know as a parent I mean it's a special place mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a special opportunity in football, I think the alignment from uh, the administration, uh, the uh, all the folks who support the school, I think there's um, a desire there to do something great, and um, the opportunity to be a part of it is uh, is pretty special. So I'm really excited about it. What have you guys discussed about the the, the structure of your program? I know at Davidson Day, you know they, they kind of pulled a rug out on you a little bit there. We we just ran out of kids at Davidson Day. I, there really wasn't anything. It was it was pretty simple. It was, it was uh, unfortunate amicable but unfortunate that uh that last year we had 27 kids and 10 seniors and of the returning kids we had a, a kicker we had one that had cancer and we had a few ninth graders who really weren't ready to play varsity football now mm -hmm. you know that left us with about you know 14 football players coming back and playing the kind of schedule at the level we were trying to play and mm -hmm. having success that I, I i felt that wasn't a safe thing to to um to be able to continue to do and spoke with the head of school about it and um you know i, I think he, he felt like you know be okay and um he, you know i think in his mind would just be able to hire another coach and maybe take a few few lumps a couple of years I, I just didn't think we had enough to play um we had some we'd have been a heck of a seven on 17 that summer <laughs> yeah well, moving, pretty good players but, moving uh, ahead to providence day though what do you expect to, to what do you expect to try to put together at providence day um i i think uh what what they want i think the um the basketball team you know nationally ranked a couple of years ago. I think they've proven that they have the ability to, to do that kind of thing. And um, uh, I think with student athletes of the caliber that are at Providence Day, that um, uh, from a football perspective, that, that's a very realistic and attainable goal. Um, may not happen overnight. Uh, it won't happen fast enough for me, but that's where we're trying to go. <laughs> are you going to bring in the, the kind of standard, you know, Coach Greer, wide open offense, throw it all over the place? Is that what you're going to bring? Uh, you know, if all else is equal, yeah. <laughs> but, but I, you know, I, what I try to do is, um, you know, we had Cade Carney, you know, it didn't make a lot of sense not to give him the ball. And right. I probably could give it to him even more. But I, I think the way we're scheme-wise, um, we're set up pretty well to take advantage of whatever personnel we have. And frankly, I, I don't know what personnel we have. Um, if we've got you know, great up front and somebody can tote it, we'll run it. Um, if we can spread it out and throw it, we'll throw it all over the yard. I, I, I prefer to do that, frankly. But, um, you know, we'll do whatever makes sense to win games. Any idea about your staff and how many you're going to have on staff? Um, you know, a lot of the guys that I was fortunate enough to work with at Davidson Day want to uh, put the band back together, so to speak. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm excited, still talking to some of those guys. And um, then um, maybe even a couple guys from down here. Um, and then uh, I've been really overwhelmed. I've had a lot of great coaches that I know of in the area in Charlotte already reached out. I mean, just on the news this morning and said, hey, man, I'd love to talk. So, um, I think uh, the size is not as important as the right quality of, of man and coach. Um, uh, the quality of man first. I want, I want the right influence and role model for the boys, and then we can work through the X and O's. Um, I, I don't know any of the, the staff really in place currently, but if those guys are interested, certainly we'll talk to them. We'll, we'll, won't leave any stone unturned to put the best staff together we possibly can and give our kids the best chance to be told. This is kind of a crazy question, but when is your first day going to be? Um, well, you know, in, it, it, now, <laughs> you know, in my mind, I mean, that's that, the hardest thing I've ever had to do was uh, professionally was this morning telling the, the kids here. And um, mm -hmm. that was tough, man. I mean, I opened my mouth and, I, you know, the words just didn't come out. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it took a minute. And, um, you know, we, uh, Davidson Day and at Oceanside, and I'll bring the province today, we have some core values that are really the foundation of the culture of our program. When I got finished talking today, the, um, the kids recited those core values, and it, uh, man, I, that was uh, special. It was uh, a little emotional, but it was special. And um, 
we can bring that same culture to Providence Day. The, uh, you know, the, the wins and losses will take care of themselves. Um, we, get, we, we win kids to, in our culture, then winning games is easy. So you're going to, I mean, you're going to move back to Charlotte, are you going to move back to Charlotte immediately? Uh, been looking for houses. Uh, thankfully, my sister-in-law is the best uh, real estate agent in Charlotte, Aubrey Greer, biggest mister, by the way. <laughs> but if, um, yeah, that's right. If uh, we just want to try to find something as close to school as we can and, um, mm -hmm. you know, I just get to work. I, but even in spite of that, I mean, I'll probably go back and forth um, for a while. I'll talk to Nancy about that, who, who's great, by the way. I mean, I think that's part of the Again, that whole decision tree is just the uh, alignment of administration and how solid the head of school and how solid Nancy is. And um, they even talked to Jay Edwards today, man. Jay was great, reached out, and mm -hmm. he was talking about how um, how well run the athletic department is there at Providence mm -hmm. Day. So it's just exciting to be a part of something like that. But I think they understand that I'm all in. So I, I mean, mind share wise, I'm starting right now. Um, whatever my first physical day of work is, I'm not even sure. I just uh, I'll be hitting it running. How hard is it going to be to try to be a new coach in this environment where there's no school, there's no gatherings of 50 more players? I mean, you don't know when the first time you'll be on the field with your kids is. Hard. I mean, I, it's, um, I feel like if I started yesterday, we'd be three months behind where I need to be this time of year getting ready for the season. And, um, you know, this only makes it, you know, worse. Uh, everybody's in the same boat. Um, but yeah, I, I'm dying to meet the kids and talk to them, get to know them. I mean, that's, we're in the kid business. I mean, it's, I'm really – might be called a football coach, but I'm, I'm really in the kid business. And, and I truly enjoy – my passion is working with young people, getting to know them, be a part of their lives and uh, beyond just the season and beyond just high school. So um, – but that's that's one thing that's going to be cool in Charlotte. So many kids have played for us in the past. They've come down here even. But they'll – those guys will show up at Providence Day and they'll be supportive and they'll they'll, uh, they'll exchange stories of playing for, you know, crazy coach career <laughs> and try to make the kids feel better probably. But uh, I'm, I'm dying to meet him. I just hope this thing, for reasons bigger than football, I hope it's um, as everybody else does. It, it's not as this this wave shortens and we get back to normal as soon as possible. Absolutely.